We are gonna start to look at the anatomy of the shoulder. So when we're talking about the shoulder as an entire complex, we're really looking at four different things. We're looking at the scapulothoracic joint, so how the shoulder blade relates to the thoracic spine. We are looking at the glenohumeral joint, which is how the humerus and the humeral head of the shoulder interacts with the scapula. We are looking at the AC joint, as well as the SC joint, which is here up front. So what we really need to do is look at all four of these joints when we're talking simply about the shoulder. Go ahead and stand up for me, Lindsay. As we are looking at the shoulder, this is the most dynamic joint we have in the body, which is why it's so exciting for me and one of my favorite areas in the body to treat. So this area from where the clavicle and the spine of the scapula and the acromion meet between this area, the AC joint, and the humeral head of the shoulder, we have a small space, and that's called the subacromial space. The subacromial space is so small. It's really, really tiny, and when you get to see that live in a cadaver, it's amazing how tiny that space is. So anything we have there, whether it is an inflamed tendon or a bone spur, or simply even just poor posture. It doesn't take much to decrease the space we have in that area. When that space gets decreased, we end up with some shoulder impingement, and that can be a problem for a lot of overhead athletes.